Hi, my name is Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hellsville, hello. I've just come on quickly today. I do have to stop myself from saying jumped on because that's what all the girls say. They say I've jumped on. Well, if I jumped on, I'd fall over. Anyway, um, I've come on today because I hadn't seen any promotion for the fact that Marks and Spencers have got a sale on. I just happened to go online and I saw that they had a sale on. And uh, there's some there's some good little bits in there if you're in the market for anything. It's worth having a quick look. And um, I just thought I'd show you what I got, really. And I also popped into Southampton today to um, return some bits before mum comes. And... Um, yeah, I got I got another couple of bits there. So, um, yeah, it's just a short, it's kind of just like a little Brucey bonus um, video today. Uh, nothing major, but a few nice bits. Um, before I go any further, I just thought I'd show you this, which is Amazon. Um, you may recall the three-part mirror that I got, as in it was three mirrors that folded up. And I got that from QVC, and it, I love it. I love it. But it is battery operated and it takes four batteries, which can get quite expensive. And also it doesn't switch off automatically. So I put that in my suitcase. That's kind of my travel one. And then I, I got this one because I, I do love having that handy. I got this one from um, Amazon and it's got the 10 times magnifying, which is terrifying. Oh, goodness me. What you can see, magnified, <laughs> you don't really want to, do you? And then it's just normal and it's got um, ring light around both um, mirrors and it's rechargeable. I think this was about 12 or 13 pound, I can't remember. It's not super light, but it, it's, you know, certainly if I was at work, I'd have had this in my desk drawer because I always used to do a quick um, bogey check before I went to a meeting. And now I do that before I go on camera. Um, so, yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. It comes with a charging cable, so it's um, very convenient. And there's quite a few on there, but I'll link this one if anyone's interested. So um, that was that quick one. And then I just thought what I'd, I'd show you what I picked up um, online from m and I got one of these... Um, you know, when I wear the um, spotty skirts, I've got two kind of spotty, flowy kind of skirts from, I think they're both from Marks and Spencers actually. And I tend to wear them with the fitted tee with the three quarter sleeves. I've got that in black and in navy. And today I managed to pick that up in white as well. And this was reduced to five pound from nine pound 50. So I thought that's a very useful. I love it, it's got a boat neck, three quarter sleeves and it is quite fitted. So it's ideal under a, a slimmer fit jumper. You know, like that lovely um, blue one that I showed you from Primark, that would be perfect under there. So I picked that up for me. I didn't get a lot for me to be honest because I really, really don't need anything as you know. Rob, um, I picked up these jumpers for Rob and um, it's it's one of those funny, not funny things. You know, we went up to see the Choir of Man in London um, last weekend. Not, not the one, just gone the one before. And um, we it was what I'd bought the family, the kids and my daughters, not my son, because his children are too little. Uh, for their Christmas gift. So it was kind of a Christmas day out for one of better expression. And um, so I dressed quite smartly, you know, and then Rob came downstairs and um, he looked smart, but he looked a little bit, I don't know, what he had on just didn't go together. So I said, well, that's a bit of a strange combination. And he said, it's only clothes you bought me. And I said, well, I know, but I didn't expect you to put them on like that. So I said, because he had like a loose jumper and loose trousers on. He looked a bit kind of, because he's quite a slim, quite a petite man, really. Um, he's like five foot nine, so he's not tall. And um, 
and uh, so anyway I said go and put your jeans on you know he's got some nice Levi's so he went and put them on and then he came downstairs and um he put his great big sheepskin jacket on and I said you don't want that on love it's it's gonna be you know you've got to put that on your lap in the theatre so um he put on this leather jacket which is really lovely leather but it's just old-fashioned and too big for him and I just got the giggles really because I said you look like you've come as granddad on you know for world book day so he wasn't very pleased with me at all but we got him there in the end and he looked lovely and the show is brilliant if if you um get to see it it's not it's not like any show I've seen before really because it's basically like the stage is like a pub and they say, you know, some pubs have a football team, some have a golf team, we've got a choir, an incredibly talented cast. And they basically sing different songs. There's a bit of story woven into it, not story, but kind of their lives woven into it. Whether they're fictitious or whether that is their lives, I don't know. And they bring up audience members and stuff, but it's very uplifting and it's just an hour and a half without a break. And we all thoroughly enjoyed it, including the children. They were the only children there. Um, they're nearly 10 and nearly 12. And uh, they were fine, but it certainly wouldn't be for younger children. But uh, we enjoyed it and it was sold out and they worked so hard. So the Choir of Man, if you're looking for a, a nice, uplifting interlude to your day, um, go and see it. I would highly recommend it. I will put a link for that too underneath. So anyway, gosh, the reason I told you that story is because Rob, I don't know what's happened, but he didn't seem to have any kind of nice um, pullovers to go over his shirt. So I saw these in the M&S sale and I bought three with the intention of him choosing one or two, but he's chosen all three. So that'll teach me, won't it? So this one was £25 and it was reduced to um, £15 and it's a nice um, pure cotton jumper in a car key which is lovely, very useful and then I got this one which is a beautiful colour, this was £17 reduced from £25 I love that colour as you know, don't need to repeat that, do I? So that's 100% cotton as well. And then I also got him this lamb's wool, which is obviously kind of a, a warmer jumper. And that's reduced to £22 from £40. So that's him now. He's sorted. He doesn't need a jumper for a long, long time, if ever. <laughs> so oh, I've got a toothpaste on my lip so much for the mirror um so i got those my mum there is so uh, luckily it doesn't affect me but in our wider family as in my sisters and their children i think my mum has to send something like 15 birthday cards in march it's the most popular month um and my son-in-law chris he won't watch this um it's his birthday on the 15th i think so I got him this T-shirt, which was reduced um, from £28 to £18. And that's right up his alley. He loves um, the sea and everything. And uh, it says, it's got all circles and then it says scaling waves. So he'll love that. I'm sure he will. Nothing not to like. He, he Yeah, he'll love that. And then I got him um, a pair of pyjamas, uh, just practical stuff really. And they were £21 reduced from £30. So just a long sleeved um, top. I'm just trying to see, if, I think that's just a pattern. Just grey and because um, on a Sunday he'll quite often Sorry, I'm just trying to work out, work out what that is. Bear print. Bears. I can't see how that's a bear. I don't know. I'm sure if I'm missing something. Oh, I see. That's the face of a bear. 
pointing that way, isn't it? I can see it better in the camera than I could looking at it. And I guess, well, I guess that's, that's the face of the bear as well, pointing that way. Anyway, I don't think you'll worry about that too much. So that was um, those bits. Then today when I was actually in the store, this is just a real flying whistle stop. Um, I just really wanted to tell you about the Marks and Spencer sale if you haven't been online and seen it because they certainly haven't broadcast it. It's not a huge sale, but there are some nice bits in there. So anyway, I was in the store and you know, Easter is looming. So I got Billy and Hattie a nice, uh, we always have an Easter egg hunt. But um, of course, last year we were in um, Japan, weren't we? We were on our big cruise holiday. Um, can't believe that's a year ago. Well, it's not quite a year ago, but you know what I'm saying. So Hattie is mad on dogs. So I got her this one, which is Curly the puppy. And then Billy, you know, he's he'll, he'll be 12 actually on Easter Sunday. And uh, so I got him this robot. So that's both, because otherwise, as it gets nearer, you know, last year or the year before, they sold out of eggs everywhere. And then um, my two little younger grandchildren, they don't really eat chocolate or anything. You know, they're still babies, but so the mum and dad can have them if, if they don't want to give them to the kids. And I just got them each, this little nibbles, the bunny, just as a token gesture, really. And uh, I'll probably get them something else as well. And then for, oh, for mum for Mother's Day, I'm sure she won't watch this. Um, I didn't know what to get her. She really doesn't want things. She's going to be with me for nearly a week. So we'll probably go out for lunch and things in that time. So I looked at some of the kind of Mother's Day special things. And really, they're such a rip off because they're more about the packaging than the what's inside them. So I thought, you know what, just get her some nice biscuits. So I've got a tin of shortbread biscuits. She can have those with a cup of tea or coffee. And if anyone pops around, she's got some nice biscuits. And they were just, I think they were just seven pounds. So that's easy. And then I don't laugh, but uh, the best place that I've found for shower hats is Primark. So I got two shower hats. Um, Cause sometimes you go in like, cause We've got a couple of bath. Well, we've got three bathrooms. Um, you know, and I, I kind of periodically go in and use those to make sure they're kind of still functioning as they should, really, that everything's full and all of that, all the containers. And, you know, the other day I got in one of the shower had no elastic left in it. They just perish, I suppose. So they're brilliant. Two pound. And they are lined with toweling. So you could not get those cheaper. So I had a job to find them, actually. The other thing I bought in Primark was this little jug, little plastic um, water jug, which was just three pounds. But I thought that is just perfect to put on the table for the children with their squashing after school, because it's not so big that they can't manage it. And I mean, I've got two or three plastic jugs, but I just thought that was really rather pretty. Um, catches the light nicely, doesn't it? So that was just three pounds. So just wanted to show you that too. So, and then I got Billy um, in the hope that we do get some nice weather and um, get to spend some time on the beach. I got him in Primark now, he's in the men's sizes. So I got him a pair of swimming trunks and a matching shirt. So the trunks were six pounds in a small man. And I got him the extra small, um, shirt to match which I think is rather nice lovely colours I always get them a little gift as well nothing major but just a little token usually pyjamas but Billy doesn't wear pyjamas anymore so uh, he's so hot blooded that kid and then Hattie I got a little two piece um, bikini in uh, Primark with a little and a beach cover up thing. Hopefully we get some nice sunny days. And I thought that went quite nicely together. Um, and this was just seven pounds. I hope it's big enough. Oh, I probably should have got the bigger size than that, you know. Oh, I probably should have got the 11 to 12. 
They're so big, these kids. If I'm out and about, I'll keep that out with me. And if I'm out and about, I'll change that for the bigger size if I can. Otherwise, you just have to put up with it. And then the last thing I bought was this. Now, I really only bought this to show you, ladies, because I thought it was a brilliant idea and I've never seen it before. Um, I love candles. I love burning candles. If I've got anyone coming round, I'll light two or, two or more candles in the house. Always one in the hall, one in here. I just love them. I know not everybody does. My mum's like, what? what's that about? Um, but I love them. Anyway, in Mars and Spencers, they're doing these, this apothecary range. They're doing a refill. So you burn the candle and then you buy the refill. Now you can buy them separately. And if you buy them separately, the bottom, the actual candle with the glass uh, container is eight pounds and the refill is six pounds but if you buy them together like this this is like a set sold as a set you can see it's got the ribbon holding it together it's 12 pounds so you basically get two candles for 12 pounds so i thought that was really good um i got it in the warm warmth fragrance oh it's lovely um there was a sleep one i didn't want to sleep one um and they'd calm but they didn't have this set up in the calm they might have had it up in the beauty but i was downstairs by the time um i saw these so i thought that was rather nice and maybe they're available online i expect they will be so um yeah i can't think oh i'll give you a little update on rob because i know only my loyal followers will still be listening at this stage so it's been a little bit of a roller coaster so i won't go over the old stuff because we know um what happened with the um the cardiologist saying that he needs to have a cardio version and we're waiting to hear so i'll give it another week and then i'll start chasing because i've learned my lesson to not just assume that we will be looked after he will be looked after um so when we went to the gp um which kind of was all as a result of the um he had some swelling on his ankles which we put down to an ankle injury but he had two things happen at the same time so he'd injured his achilles tendon but he had swelling and the doctor did a couple of blood tests just to be on the safe side and he also prescribed him diuretics which we didn't even pick up to be honest with you we didn't pick up for about a week because the swelling was going down anyway um i can't remember the timeline so you just have to it doesn't really matter so we were here on a thursday and rob got a text message on his phone and it was from the gp and it was to say I need to see you as a result of your latest blood test. I've made you an appointment. Let me know if you can't come. Well, that always gives you a fright, doesn't it? Anyway, because, I mean, getting an appointment is like gold dust. And uh, so then we went on to look at the blood test result. And when we looked at the blood test result, it, it was really shockingly scary for us. Um, and please, you know... I, I, I'm not a doctor, I'm just telling you about my experience and I'm sure you've all had, or lots of you have had similar and, you know, everybody's different. But um, it basically said that he was in heart failure and his numbers were very high to what the normal should be. They were very, very high. So it was terrifying. We were absolutely shocked and terrified because there's no um uh, what's the word heart failure is heart failure isn't it it's a bit like a heart attack you know if you say someone's had a heart attack you don't say they've had a mild heart attack or i suppose you know if if they're dead you know they had a, a big heart attack but you know it was scary because never in all of his tests has he ever been told that he had heart failure so i immediately sent those results to the doctor and um, 
said to the, to the private cardiologist and was waiting for a thing from him. I, I rang my sister, who's a very senior nurse at a London hospital, and she said, do this, that and the other. Anyway, fast forward, uh, we had to wait for, uh, six days, six days to see the doctor. And kind of you go, well, if it was really seriously urgent, we wouldn't have to wait six days. So you do all those mind games, don't you? And, um, and I mean, we were terrified, <laughs> you know, pure and simple. We were terrified. We thought that was it, basically. We thought we were on the kind of last part of the journey. And um, that sounds a bit dramatic, but that's how we felt. And um, anyway, we got in to see the doctor. And the first thing he said was, I know it sounds really scary, but it's not as scary as it sounds. OK. And... To cut a long story as short as possible, he said, I'm going to refer you to the heart failure clinic, but I don't think you've got anything to worry about. OK. Meanwhile, Rob, the day after, Rob started taking the diuretics. He said, well, I thought I might as well because I've got them. And they have transformed his life. A simple little tablet once a day has transformed his life. He can now walk upstairs without getting breathless. He's got his energy back. He feels so much better than he has felt for the last probably nearly three years. And we are confused. And I, I really would appreciate it if you didn't all pile in with your medical opinions, because um, I'm just sharing my story, Rob's story. And um, I don't want to kind of get confused by any more stuff. We're, we're waiting now to see the cardiologist and we're waiting to see the heart failure people. And I'm sure they can explain it all. But the main thing is that he feels probably 100% better than he has felt for years. So that is just bloody fantastic. And um, long may it last. So a tiny little tablet just given to him really almost on a spur of the moment thing from the doctor has transformed his life and in turn transformed my life so isn't medicine a wonderful thing so um yeah so we're just waiting for the next part of this uh story to evolve and um We'll have to see what, what that brings and what the explanation is, really. So, but I'm sure they'll do another echo. They may, may well do another angiogram. But um, at the moment, he's just enjoying the newfound feeling of well well-being. And he's actually back at work because he said, why not? You know, I feel absolutely fine. So that's where he's at. So a long story cut shorter than it could have been because you know what I'm like and uh, yeah so this is just like I say a little Brucey bonus video uh, really highlighting the Marks and Spencer sale so um, thanks for watching <laughs> and I'll see you really soon bye